Boys RVO here. We're going to be talking about the ban list, what I think is going to happen. So, OCG had no cards banned. The reason why is they have had some extreme ban lists going on. And yes, they've had a lot of the same decks sort of topping, but when new set releases and they actually change what decks top, Konami is doing their job. So they don't really need to change the ban list there. Over here, they released an entire set and all that happened was the top deck became better. That's a problem. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be discussing what I believe will be hit on the ban list. This is going to be based off of how the game went, how I went at Chicago, and how I viewed with other tournaments. And that'll hopefully be able to explain the things. I'm sorry if I forget a bunch of things. I am going completely off of what I have been discussing with a couple other people. And this is what I believe will be hit in the ban list. So, starting out with the deck, that's not as high tier. We've got Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss is a deck that I do not think will be hit. There's no reason to hit it. Yes, it's good. It's got lots of good plays. But I feel against a lot of the other decks in the game, the deck has this, though it has a lot, it doesn't have like a win card. Such as Tour Guide used to be. When it was at three, it was its win more card. They could easily just semi-limit something like Dante and the deck would just be slow again. And that's all they would have to do. If Konami really wanted to shut down the deck, they could do stuff like hit Graph, hit Sir. They don't really need to hit Skarm in my opinion, as the card, yes it searches, but it's searching during the end phase and it has to stay in the end, the grave throughout the end phase for it to be good. So that card I don't think needs to be hit. But Burning Abyss as a deck I don't feel like is the most broken thing compared to a lot of the other things in the meta. For Tellers, which is a next step up, I believe this one is one of the lower decks in the format, but it is once again a deck that I think needs to be hit. They're going to hit it by doing something really simple. They're going to be hitting, I believe, Rhoda. Rhoda just came back to 3 for the game, and the only decks that use it are all the top decks which are abusing the crap out of the card. I could easily see Rhoda going from 3 to 1 or 2, as well as I believe they could easily hit Deneb to 1. Um, their trap card's really good, they have a lot of really good cards, their extra deck is insane, but if they put Deneb to 1 and Rhoda to 1, I feel it would slow the deck down, they would be forced to use some of their other cards, or use cards like the Teller Bridge, uh, what, yeah, just Teller Knight Sky Bridge, which lets them tag into the Deneb. The Deneb becomes such a more important card, and with it at one, if you get rid of it, it's gone. That kind of thing makes it so I feel like the deck would be a lot more fair. It has a really good extra deck, and it has some consistency problems, which is the only reason why it doesn't top every single event constantly. And I just, that way it would hit the deck and it would not be busted. And the reason, another reason why I want to hit Rhoda is because the hero deck abuses the crap out of the Rhoda at 3 with cards like the Goblinburg and other cards of the sort. Being able to hit the Rhoda would make it so the oppon opponent would have to use cards like their e telly or not e telly sorry, E-Call, if they wanted to search the same. Being able to search for these cards even though they're very important, and it's really easy to do it, they have cards like Blaze Man and things of the sort, it would just help make the place a little bit slower, as they would not have instant access to their Goblin Bird or the Heroic Challenger guys. This would just be a way to kind of slow that down a little bit, not completely shut down a deck that's not the best, because it's got some good plays, it's got some anti-meta things, it's not the best against some decks that are rogue, some decks it's different, it's, it would be a fair way to hit that. Another deck that would get hit by the Rota is... Necroz. Necroz, I feel like, is going to be, like, done. It's going to be neutered, shot, thrown thrown in a river. I don't really care. It's going down. What's happening to the Necroz deck, I feel Rota will go to one because it hits all these other decks and Necroz. Necroz will lose Unicorn to one and Brio to one because their surging would be cut insane. They would not get a reuse cards, not get a research. Be, it would be really good. As well as I believe the Psycho will go to 1. Psycho is just such a usable card that it just really, really... The plays that go off of from this card are just insane. I remember I was building a Zephyr deck and I put a Zephyr, Doll, Necroz, and it was literally I was playing Necroz Dolls with inconsistency because the Zephyr just slowed it down. Necroz only need a couple cards to be able to play their deck, and if you limit some of those cards and make it so it's a little more inconsistent, I feel even though the Jinlock is insane, it's really annoying, anyone can play around it. Everybody's main decking cards like Regeki and all these other spell and trap card removals, just the Jinlock itself, though it has a thing, they could easily hit it by just banning the Jin release or no problems. They don't have to hit anything else, and I feel if they got those other cards hit, the deck would become fair. 
The only other deck that I feel really needs to be hit, besides Magical Library is getting banned. I Cool card, the deck was fun, it's a little silly deck, I love drawing, drawing is fun, I don't care what you're drawing for, just being able to draw is cool. Magical Library was never really a good card except for in decks that shouldn't exist, and that's something that I've just always, it's one of those bad cards that just shouldn't be in the game. And people, four years from now or something, if that card gets banned, will be like, why the heck is Magical Library banned? And we'll know all these stupid combos that'll come with it. The only other deck that needs to be hit outside of this is Dolls, and I feel Dolls is not busted. They're not broken. They have their format that I was about to pick them up. I picked them all up in a format where they were no longer considered that good, just because even though they have a lot of good plays, they can just have hands that brick and hurt. The new cards that have come out have really helped to boost the deck, and it's really nice because of it. But in the end, what I think is going to happen is I think Constructs either go into one or getting banned. Elf Fusions go into one or getting banned. Besides that, they don't need to hit it because I remember going to Chicago and only making Window one time. Window's a good card, but she just doesn't do anything for the deck to extend its game state. It actually hurts itself almost as much, if not more, than other people. I remember almost all my wins were just from power boost stage because go construct, get effects, construct, get more effects, recycle cards, push, get more using elf fusions and stuff, and I could push for game really fast because of these cards. With their new cards like Anomalith and their older one like Shikanaga, these cards become a lot more useful if construct is gone because you have to play with a more versatile build. And these cards are really strong, they have their good plays and everything, but they just need the push to be able to be used. So, besides this, there's not much that needs to be hit. You'll send you are annoying, but I don't think they're going to hit lose a turn. Lose a turn is all they would need to hit if they wanted to really hurt the deck. The deck doesn't have much going for it. It's really small. Mine crushes at three. I feel like the card's are fair against cards like these. It's just... These other decks, Wind Infernities or Spiritual Beast, if you don't know what I was talking about, these cards are all good, and I feel like the decks are fun. They're really competitive. I remember going to locals with the Spiritual Beast deck, and I did really well. I think I got, like, first or second. But overall, it's just, the deck, it's fine. It, it doesn't have issues. None of these other decks, I really think, feel like hurt the game. I would love to see in the comment section below what you guys think I missed. I tried to hit mainly the only top decks right now. There are some cool cards coming out, cool formats that are going to be happening, but remember, I I like to sit in that low tier, that l tier 1.5 area to tier 2. We're the tier 2 heroes over here, and it's just, there's some fun things that I think about this game, and I l actually played a little bit of Necros, not trying to win, but just trying to see what the deck was like, and it's so much fun. I feel some of the silly plays in the deck would just be a lot more fair if the consistency was hit. Cards like Prep are annoying. Cards like Senju and Manju are really annoying. The Arc Fusion card from the extra deck, if it went to one, that would be phenomenal for just making it so much more fair. Kaleidoscope, all these cards are really good, but in order for the deck to be considered fair again, they just really do need to just get rid of a lot of the support in the deck. That's like my thoughts on the ban list. There's a lot of cards in there that I think could be hit and shouldn't be hit. Cards that should be brought back. There are a lot of cards like that. Trinade and stuff would be cool for the game. I don't know if it would be good for the game as a whole or if it would just be fun. But I've been playing a lot of decks, a lot of fun things, and that's just what I feel would be cool for the game. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all that. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this. But as always, have a wonderful day. Yeah.